All right. So I was showing you a while back. How do you really go ahead and connect across your account? Your Google AdWords account with several different ones. For that option, for this linked account option, you have to go to the gear icon and then click on to linked accounts. Right. The moment you click on to linked accounts or linked accounts, all these options will come. You can connect across your Google AdWords with Salesforce, Analytics, Search Console, Firebase, which is for applications which we just saw, YouTube, Google Play Store, Google Merchant. Google Merchant is for the shopping ads, all right? We are not covering that part. Now, uh, we have to get started with our app campaign, basically. Now, creating across an app campaign is a pretty easy stuff. Uh, not much of the, much of steps, uh, steps are involved in that. Same thing we'll do, we'll go to the Google AdWords account, click on to all campaigns, and this time, we'll, have an ad, universal app campaign being selected after we click on to plus new campaign, click on to universal app campaign this time. We have covered search, we have covered display, we have covered video. Shopping, it's not part of our curriculum. Search with display is when you want both of them to be part of one single campaign. I don't suggest that. Let I mean, always have search and display separate so that you can measure their performance separately. This time we are going with app. Now, when you have an app, a mobile app, whether it's on a Windows platform or an Android or an Apple App Store and so forth, you can go ahead and run across a campaign for the purpose of increasing app installs. Majorly, the major objective with app campaigns is to increase the app installs. Experiencing network connectivity problem. All right, here we go. Campaign name, it has to be App Promotion Campaign, let's say. Then uh, it's auto, on, already we have selected the app campaign. Now it says, which app do you want to, uh, do you want people to download across? So you have to select the app. All right. I already selected an app later on earlier, basically, actually. So I can remove this and I can add a new app. Now it gives only two options, either from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. I can go ahead and search for a particular app, any specific app which you want me to take as an example. Mm, let's say I book my show. <laughs> All right. Okay, they have in New Zealand also, and this is the old icon of book my show. Earlier, this is the this used to be the icon. Okay, they they are there in UAE also. That's a separate one and so forth. All right, so this is the most uh, renowned one, which is used across over here. So we will continue with this one, clicking on to choose. So this is the Apple app, all right. We have selected Book My Show. Now automatically the content from the app is going to be picked up for the advertisement. This is how the ad is gonna look like, okay. And this ad is only going to be, it will only appear on the app store. Whenever we search on an app store, you must have seen uh, ads coming across. Have you experienced right. that, right? Apps, uh, this, this advertisement comes. These advertisements will come for what all keywords totally depend upon. We, we are not provided the ability to go ahead and submit the keywords. So how ads comes in, whenever we search across something on app store with a keyword, then the ads come in, right? In the search ads also, we understood that when somebody types in across a search query in the search engine bar, then the search engine ads comes across. In search engine campaign, we as advertisers were able to insert the keywords that for these all keywords, the search ad should come uh, along with those match types part, those phrase match and so forth. But over here, we are not allowed by Google to actually submit the keywords for which our app advertisement is going to come. 
automatically on the basis of the content of our app. You know, when the app is being created, the description of the app when it's been posted across on the basis of the description, certain for certain keywords will be taken automatically by Google and Google will show our app advertisement for those keywords only. Okay. Now also we do uh, give across certain text ideas from our site. So I can go ahead and, so there are four text ideas which we can go, give 25 characters each. I can say, let's say movie tickets, booking, All right, so I can provide in uh, any other thing, book tickets or events and something maybe else. Sports, right? And so forth, so tickets for sports and so forth. And we have given certain text ideas. Now Google will use these text as an option, as a uh, main ingredient for finding out for which all keywords our app ad should be shown across. Now, the app ad usually is shown across the text one like this, with a call, with a button basically, all right, and so forth, like this. So these are the two major forms. These are the two major forms of apps, uh, the advertisement basically. This is the entire page ad, this is the entire page ad, and this is just the uh, small section of the uh, screen. Now there is another one which is a video ad of an app. Video ad, so you usually get to see this okay. across while playing games, while playing, playing games, and all those videos come to right. So you can advertise your app on YouTube by adding up to five videos. You can add five videos. If you leave this field blank, adverts might make a video on its own. Plus, I can you know we can go ahead and add up to ten images also. The images will be shown across like this. Let me us take up some videos. These are not these effective ones. This is, this can be one. So this is one video. Video wala concerts right now. Yeah, yeah. In stream. So I'm going back to AdWords, pasting across the URL of one single video. So if you can add more video URLs also, this would be used to process a video ad. All right. And then you can add more images also to add add to this entire advertisement. Up to 10 images, up to 10 videos, and we have added 10, five, sorry, five text ideas. So these are the things which you can embed or put in from your side as a advertiser. Then location part, we already know about that location, right? Radius targeting and so forth we can do. Languages also we know. And okay, now this is one option. Google says, are you looking for getting new users for your app or are you looking for users to do certain activities on your app. If you want new users to come and uh, perform across a certain activity, okay, this is uh, not gonna be uh, available as of now till the time we do get across certain app, uh, what do you say, downloads. So initially only one option which is getting new users for your app is going to be available. Then you enter across what, what is the bid which you are looking at. Now over here, the pricing is 
uh, cost per app installs. In the video section, we did understand cost per view is one thing, which is a 30 second rule. In display ads, cost per click and cost per thousand impressions were there. In the search ad, it was cost per click. In the app ads, it's cost per app install. So I can mention my per app install. I am looking to pay 10 rupees for every install. And now there is this particular chart which shows how much, uh, what do you say, app install, how many uh, apps can you really expect to get installed for a specific uh, budget, let's say you have. Now this particular chart will only work when you will have connected your Google AdWords account with your Google Play Store basically. Now Play Store, how do we connect that? The same option when you go to the gear icon, click on to linked accounts and then connect your Google AdWords with your Google Play Store. Hmm. So Google Play, you can go ahead and click on the plus account and uh, email address for Google Play account owner. So uh, the one who submits across a app onto Google Play Store he's going to be sent across a notification. In our case, yesterday when we understood how do we get an app up, so in that case, uh, the account which we'll use for Appy Pie will actually take certain amount of money. It takes $4.99 and $9.99. There are two pricing plans to get your app uh, live. Otherwise, creation of the app it was free. You can create the app and so forth, but it won't go live. It won't go live. Uh, free to uh, which kind of uh, right so you can put in across the email address of that person who owns the app and uh, there will be a notification sent to him and he will accept that invitation All right and then the google play store will get connected with your google adwords account and once that happens then this entire uh, bar chart will be there which will show that how many app installs can you expect in a weekly uh, with your overall budget, whatever budget you have? So let's say my budget is 300 per day. That's it. Save and continue. I put in my bid, I put in my budget, I put in the text that the suggested text, the video also, each one of those things. We could have also put in across certain uh, images also. And that's it. You can set up conversion tracking now. All right, so this is for the conversion tracking. New conversion action for your uh, app. This is the one. Is there a specific value you want to give across to every install? So you can mention that, okay, yes. Maybe 100 rupees is what I want Google AdWords to show that this is amount which I have, let's say, earned. You know, every app I'm giving across a particular figure to it. I can even assign, I can even go ahead with not assigning any value. But this is for my particular purpose of uh, coming out to a conclusion that, okay, this much money I spent and this much money I earned, earned right? Do you want to include this in conversion? Yes, and so forth. And post back URL is, it's that AdWords can uh, post, provide, con okay, this is conversion or information to iOS app analytics package. All right, I have to check this. I'm not sure what exactly is this. So this is all about giving information back to the app store. So you can go with all of these, click on to save and continue, and that's it. Your entire app campaign is ready. So this is the paid way of going ahead and promoting across your app store. Oh, sorry, your application, which is there in app store.
or a tracking status it's saying as of now uh, it's not verified just because yeah uh, we code was submitting and all that right all right so this is to do with the paid campaign all right so the keys to app store what are the keys to app app marketing app or app uh, app marketing in total one is the definitely product quality so your stronger your app if it's way better than the others other competitors then definitely it is one of the first step to go and promote it and uh, make it a successful app plus make sure there are no bugs crashes and so forth so from the development perspective many times it happens that you open an app and automatically it crashes so that should not happen plus you should be able to create a buzz around your app but the buzz thing works across majorly by asking bloggers you know to go ahead and review your blog to view your application basically and use your app they won't do it just like that you have to give across some incentive to your to the bloggers right you know you have to offer them certain money or whatever certain freebies so that they go ahead and uh, talk about their their your app in their particular blogs plus this is the most important thing which is app store optimization in websites we call it search engine optimization over here it's app store optimization the moment somebody types in across a search query in app store also you want your apps to be right there on the top we just now saw in the previous one how do you promote your apps in the paid version right but this time it's the unpaid version plus we spoke about the initial buzz through the paid advertising and so forth by using uh, various different ads plus make sure you go ahead and uh, encourage people to share so you run campaigns you run contest where you uh, you know entice the end audience to go ahead and share across your app if they will share then they will get across certain points these are the kind of tricks and you also request for feedback from your customers from people who come onto your app for the first time and the last thing definitely is to go ahead and uh, track and measure the analytics google analytics and google adwords all these places do let you know how many application installs have happened and so forth and what what price right which we saw plus social media email marketing all of these other platforms other channels should be used for the promotion of uh, apps that's the one so we look into the app store optimization in detail so before you go ahead and launch across your app make sure a buzz is being created and which can happen through blogs by hiring and by connecting with tech bloggers and also connecting with journalists creating relationship with <clears throat> various news portal and create a certain news element around your app and asking the journalist to go ahead and promote that also encourage your existing customers to promote it so you can go ahead and give across some incentive to your customers to go ahead and talk about your app if you do that the you will give them certain more discounts or freebies and so forth right these all things to work this is the main crux which we are talking over here app store optimization we will app store optimization uh does differ a bit for google play store and app store opt uh, app store the ios thoda more difference hai okay what exactly are these we we'll look into this it always starts with they're doing a competitor analysis and keyword research so there are uh, certain keyword research tools which i'll show you through which we can get to know how much a certain search term is typed in across in the app stores only so oh, first in the keyword analysis keyword planner tool what we saw for the search engines basically this is for the app which i'm going to show you and uh, you go ahead and uh, optimize your apps for those keywords which you will go ahead and uh, finalize on by making sure that the content of your app content in the sense the description of your app whenever an app is submitted to the play store you know in that app buy thing once the app is created it's done you pay to app buy and then the process of submitting your app to the play store and the app uh, app store comes in in that also you have to enter description keywords and so forth so you have to make sure those keywords come into your description and keywords are mentioned separately and so forth right all those things are there another from another thing when it comes down to app store optimization is to enable push notifications this is the technical thing when this app is getting created of yours 
you enable push notification options so that people who download and subscribe to your app they should get a push notification okay this is the new thing so today if i've got 1000 people who have installed my app and they all out of 1000 who have installed let's say 800 of them have subscribed to push notifications i can send a message which will go as a push notification on their home screen it will appear it happens with us also right in the home page so make sure that also opens up Paid advertising we have covered. I don't want to go ahead and talk further more. Just that it will it might really create confusion. So you have seen how do we promote through the whole paid part, and you need always maximum downloads in order to promote it. Cross channel promotion is another one, which is you go ahead and promote apps onto various channels. Like whether it's you go ahead and promote it through LinkedIn, you share it across stuff on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and so forth. Referral marketing push notifications. I've already spoken about it. You go ahead and ask your uh, customers to go ahead and refer it, rate it, review it, and you give them certain uh, you know freebie discounts and so forth. And plus, push marketing is the same where you have the technology being enabled, right? So it all starts with having an ad creative, doing cross promotion, managing the ads, promoting through social media, promoting through app store and so forth. So these are the various things which you do. All right, so nine steps to make market an app before launch. First is definitely know your app uh, perfectly and uh, look at the various different competitors who have a similar app and you go, go ahead and see what is the difference between your app and the other one. What is the name of your app versus your competitor's app? The design, the icon. Icon is also another important thing. Icon, which is uh, that has to be attractive. That that is one thing which will lead to uh, you know number of installs getting up or down. In that also you should keep doing uh, initial phase and the initial phase. Phase is sort of an A/B testing. Certain times you use the app icon number one. Now certain times app icon number two, and then try to see which one has given you more installs. The one which will give you more installs, go ahead with that. Right. So choose first of all a good name for your app that is which is something easily recognizable, easily uh, easily memorable. It should not be so tricky that people are not able to even say that. Plus, from the legality point of view, you have to make sure that uh, you're not uh, infringing upon any uh, trademarks and so forth. Right. Find your competitors, like I said already. Choose the right category. Now, when you are submitting your app into App Store, if you have selected wrong category, you know it will be asking you for the category to be submitted category under which it will your app would be there so let's say yours is a restaurant well, app and you go ahead and select food you might feel that it's it's one and the same thing but it is not google will might get confused and it might start ranking in you for other different keywords all right look at the number of downloads you will need to rank across and so forth so in what happens is for every single category there is a competition always so you do get to know that for which category, what is the competition? Let's say for your app, there are two categories which are uh, which are going well. Both of them are going well. So which one should you choose? Out of those two, you have to choose one only. The one which has a lower competition. And competition you get to know while uh, you go to the app store and you look at the categories, number of, the, and even the tool which I'll show you. That tells us what is the number of competition. How many apps are down have been submitted within a category one, and how many apps are uh, submitted in category two? Let's say both you are qualified, your app is qualified for both. Select the one which is less competitive in that case. Right. So choose the right category. Create an amazing icon, icon which matters a lot. Make them more eye-catching and deliver the style and purpose and so forth. Take great great screenshot. Now this is another thing. One thing which will uh, go ahead and promote across your app in the initial phase is going to be definitely the icon, the description, the category, plus also the screenshots. Screenshots are the, uh, so what do you say, the e preview basically, preview of your apps, which you usually get to see the moment you go to uh, app stores and you uh, look for a particular app. It does give you the, along with description, certain screenshots of how the overall app looks like, right? So those previews, those screenshots makes a lot of difference and it uh, makes people decide whether they want to download that or they do not want to download that and so forth. All right. 
make an attractive app demo video. So we saw in the paid promotion part that five videos were being allowed. So a good demo video is something which is uh, needed across for sure. If you have a demo video which talks about what your app does, what is the overall benefit, and who all have used and benefited out of it, always help you. Right, so make them memorable, information, informative and exciting and con convince with this particular video of yours, convince the users to download and buy the app. Plus, the moment somebody will go ahead and uh, click onto, let's say, your app, they can either uh, download the app, that's one, or also you can go ahead and promote across with the help of a landing page also. So landing page the other day, uh, yesterday when you were looking at Insta page, there was there was another one which is uh, a separate marketing objective which said mobile app promotion. Yeah. So you can use let's say that part and uh, make sure it's uh, the landing page which is promoting your app also has been optimized with better title description and keywords embedded in it, right? And uh, make sure the screenshots, demo video which we have spoken about, they are part of the landing right then the last thing is to go ahead and create across certain press releases press releases are the news piece about what your uh, app is all about and make sure you go ahead and publish that across get them published on certain websites review sites like free apps free apps is one of the website where most of the applications uh, press releases are there reviews and ratings are there and you normally during the time when they're not even being launched across so several several websites are like these, where people go ahead and uh, you know look for various applications, which is the, the which are the new applications and so forth. Right, so you create a cross press release for that, and then you go ahead and launch it across. Now, after the launching, the way you go ahead and promote it across is definitely with the help of paid part, right, which we understood, and provide a free trial for a certain period of time. You provide free trials. You sign up also for analytics apps. The Google Analytics platform, which we have understood earlier, works similarly for mobile app, mobile analytics also. All right, mobile app analytics. You must have seen when we were doing, uh, when we were entering across the name of our website in Google Analytics, the way I showed you the process, there were two options. Either you enter the website name or you enter the mobile app, mobile app. So you can go for that, you can enter the mobile app and get to see the analytics app. Then you reach out to the top uh, media, I mean, as in asking the journalists, editors, and so forth, right? You reach out to them. You encourage the users, people who are downloading your stuff, right? Who are downloading your applications, you go ahead and encourage them. You provide incentives to them to share social networks or share across the app on their social networks, rate and review and so forth. Same one, same thing which we spoke about. Plus, you go ahead and do the paid promotion, which we saw a while back. Now, other than Google AdWords, there are several other websites like AdMob and InMobi, which also do the same part. They have their own network, InMobi and so forth. The way Google AdWords has got its own network, similarly, InMobi and all that stuff, they have yeah. their paid apps. They're also paid. They'll ask you for cost for install only. So this is the way you go ahead and rise to the top and enjoy across your marketing and so forth. Let me just see if there is another. So App Store optimization is absolutely nothing. It's purely on page, purely on page. Off page is mainly they are determined with the help of uh, the reviews people are giving you and also determined with the help of uh, ratings, ratings, basically. reviews, ratings, and also descript description is on page basically. Right, so that's the one. So there's not much to it. All right, so the tools which I was talking about. It's character, description, icon, screenshot, category, keywords, and so forth. Reviews, ratings, downloads, right? These are the factors. Title and all that I've told you. 
right? Description. App screenshot. Here are these tools. Well, yes, Google, uh, sorry, Search Man is one of them. Search Man. Not working mobile tab HQ. So, we can use as the option for three um, states in um, the United States. Where? Japan. Which one? Search me. Search me. Search me. Search me. Okay. Let's go in terms of uh, all right, uh, United States, United Kingdom, and Japan. That's not working right now. Somehow not working. Strange. Yeah, search man for me. So I've tagged in this particular keyword in search man, which is showing me the volume and the hits for this. And there's something called KEI, which is called keyword effect efficiency index. So volume hits any which we just trying to see what is that. All right, so for this keyword, it's uh, showing volume 11 out of 100 and app store hits is 417. So we have to do this individually by typing in across keywords one after another. It is not giving us these suggestions, keywords like they are. But it is giving us uh, these. So when I've typed in digital marketing, all the related uh, apps are mentioned over here. Plus, it's also showing keywords for which it is ranking across this particular applications. 188 people have actually given review for this. The app 
developer's name are also given across over here, the company who have developed these apps. Right. So the keywords for which they're ranking are these. All right, so if I go to a specific application, it shows us the various keywords for which, it, for which it's, uh, you know, uh, ranking across and trying to get itself on the top. So this is one thing through which we can get across various different keywords. So we first of all try to find out our competitors, uh, what do you say, application, mobile app, enter the mobile app of our competitor and then see for which all keywords it will give us the keywords for which it's ranking and it's uh, uh, what is the volume for those keywords for which it's, it's ranking. The rank is also given across. That for the term marketing, this particular uh, application is ranking on the 131st position. So forth and so on. All right, so that's the one, that's the major thing which you really do with regards to App Store. Nothing more than that. Mobile mein kuch hai nahi, because the other thing which is promotion through SMS and all, that's not allowed. Uh, paid, you saw paid was also very simple in terms of creation of the end. 